Yes, welcome. Thank you for joining us, us as in the embodiment of the 14 gods. So I am Crime Queen in case you have joined me or us for the first time that may sound a little bit confusing crime queen and us and me but um if you keep watching you'll soon get into the juice of things all right so i would like to continue delving deeper into the um understanding or wisdom of number three so here we are dealing with numerology and we are basing a lot of the essence of numerology into the wisdom of, of scriptures or spiritual teachings, we could say, mainly derived from the King James Version of the Holy Bible. That's where I got most of my conditionings and teachings and um, formations, whatever they were which served me up until the point where I am now looking at things um, or, or an extension or extensively. So I'm looking at things extensively. So basically, as I continue to say, the things that we feel will um, had not served us or we feel we had been shortchanged or suppressed or... Um, we had been conditioned, we had been enslaved. We have lots of words and attachments or tags that we could put to those um, conditionings or, or effects. But now it is really for us to wake up, so to speak, and smell, well, I wouldn't say the coffee, I don't drink coffee, but um, drink of the wisdom of the 14 gods and really get to understand the different layers because there are different layers, it's like a cake um, with different flavors and different ingredients and so on. Now we are not just eating a cake, we are um, taking our time to really engage in the taste the different taste buds of um, a cake it's like wine tasting um, I haven't gone doing the wine tasting but you could see people are not just glopping down this um, wine down their throat you know they can taste the wine and tell you its age and whether it was fruity whether it was pressed whether it was whatever and and so on or what bouquet it has and and there are lots of different aspects to that so this is what um we are really engaging with here just to give you an example so the number three um really it amuses me because my last presentation on number three i was trying very hard to remember the word handcuffs and that w didn't come i remember saying um cufflinks then i remember cufflinks of all, a shirt um so handcuffs so because um the number three always it reminds me and this this came to me through doing a, a presentation on number three or number eight i'm not quite sure but there there it was i had a revelation how um numbers had been used for people to or the code or the vibration had been used to um, condition people and enslave what we call enslaved people. And so the number three, uh, the handcuffs came, they, they were very visible to me. So it's, um, I have been tempted to take down that video because of course I was so emotional um, doing this presentation, that, um, that particular presentation, but spirit says no just to leave it okay i think i was also talking about black and white and how the derivatives because black is 11 white is also 11 but we were seeing how um again 11 of course is the is the numerical value for the word three so it's all coming now so the word three has this numerical value of 11 which is the first master number and we could see how in um, according to the template which I have here so basically what I was really engaged I was um, seeing is that 
the word white, for instance, W, um, W, H, I, and T, E, E is hair. Basically, white was all to the right. And if we had black, we would have B, L, A, C, K to the left. So that really um, taught me, or oh, I had an insight, I was able to see how um, the colors have been, or the black, white, because they're not even colors, they constructs, they um, the um, functions and they have been used to oppress and and suppress and so on so that really um, brought a lot up so speaking of the word three in fact um, I will um, perhaps show you because I don't really want to go there too much into this but it's revisiting the number three and seeing the power of three because in my last video we had the word strength s-t-r-e-n-g-t-h so the word strength which is one two nine five five seven two eight equals well it came to three so um, whatever <laughs> the, the two digits were, but we can do it quickly in case you're new to numerology. So this is 10, 20, um, 30, 32, 37. So three plus seven is 10. So I think I've miscounted something here. So five, five, seven, two, eight, two, nine, one. Okay, let's go again. I like to just take this off and, and really count again because um, it'd be interesting to see that um, how I've counted. So it's one, two, nine, five, five, seven, two, eight. Okay, so here you can count me, with me 10, 20, 30, 37, 38, 39. So 3 plus 9 is 12. And 12, of course, is the um, numerical value that say, um, where Mother Eve, that I speak of in a lot of my presentations, Mother Eve is the base of everything, the serpent, the, um, the snake, uh, the, but the serpent is where Mother Eve takes her rise after eating of the fruit, if you like. Okay, uh, um, although most would say it's when it was cast, um, to the ground after well the snake let's not get too deep into this now but strength is three and the word three of course is two eight nine five five adding this together ten twenty nine two twenty nine of course if I did the numerical value for twenty nine which I have done on a uh, on one of my um, presentations or notes it gives us um, 14 and I was very intrigued by that so I'm going to do this as well cover that 29 the word 29 29 so so 29 9 is 6 and 20 is actually um, 26 so here I was um, really looking at 26 and feeling, of course, this is the God number. And this hair, 26, 2 plus 6 is 8. Of course, God, the word God, again, um, is 7, 6, 4. So this is 17. 17 as in Moses. So 1 plus 7 is 8. So 2 plus 6 is 8. So here we have seen how... Three also impacts or has um, it impacts on the God number, the God ship, if you like. So if we were to add these two digits together, eight plus six, as in twenty nine, this would give us fourteen. Now, of course, if you have followed me, you would know a lot of what I have been talking about is of the 14 gods. 14 gods in Genesis chapter 1, 2, 3. Or it covers, 
um, so it's the two sets of creation so there's one creation of seven days and there's another creation as well it's like a copy so everything we do here now in this realm or in this 3d dimension if you like we um, photocopy we take pictures we um, uh, uh, emulate we assimilate all those things that we have been doing they are um, direct derivative of this of the message in the scriptures right there where we where it was a copy so there there is like you could say a real or we could say a human and then there is another extension or another um another copy so just like now we have um, AI um, Sophia for instance and then we had the mother Eve that we are learning about which has given it given us a representation of um, a human mother Eve as an Adam and Eve as human beings which we are the we are the children of the of those parents if you like um, but now we have artificial intelligence so um, we can see it's like um, they say history repeating itself but basically now why I feel so pressed to do these messages is that each time we get to a time like this the time we have now which is an ending of an era an end of an era we are at liberty those of us alive those of us who are awakening those of us who are becoming conscious and understanding that reality of or, or state of being we have the power to direct which um, way things develop or we have all the power to um, not only direct but to construct and to and to dictate if you like um, because basically people who are conversing and having conversations with Sophia for instance are really giving of their energy and their and sharing of themselves with that robot or that robot um and that will um emulate their their uh their mannerisms their intonations their way of thinking the way of seeing and laughing and that's what's happening we also have the opportunity to um look the other way and to be more um to be um, whole what we consider whole it's like um, instead of being like um, a tree that's been grafted we can contain ourselves as if you were a grapefruit instead of being a grapefruit orange you and you really maintain the essence of what a grapefruit is however that analogy <laughs> sounds I hope you get what I mean so here we have 29 as I say it's showing us in three because three is really showing us its characteristics its um, makeup and even in the word has tree um, so a tree which we are trees actually so it's like saying it is rooted the what when we think of um, trees we think of roots so in the tree itself or in the three or three in itself denotes a tree that which gets planted and we we hear of this or read of this several times so I go and God planted um, Adam and Eve in the garden I think there's such a word as well planted or they were planted or God put them or and but the word planted as well which is one of the gods the word um, planting or planted is the, the God and that as well is derivative because the planted God is number nine and is also divisible by three so we can see that 
three is um, while it is very um, energetic and it takes its rise, it is also it grounded. So very much a tree which um, is planted, it is firm, it is deeply rooted. However, it grows and it bears leaves, it bears fruits, it bears flowers. Flowers die, um, the leaves fade and fall to the ground. And so this is the characteristic of three right here now of course we have seen how it falls into or into god here but here we see that um to be more precise on number four um 14 one plus four is five this is the number of change so in the middle of the oh um in the middle of the template, oh, I haven't even introduced you to the new Mother Eve. Wow. This is the new Mother Eve. Now, she is like um, meditating, as you can see, or whatever you can see um, through this image is what Mother Eve is really conveying to you. So I'm not going to um, put too much into it. But number five is here. And Mother Eve, in fact, while I was going over the template, of saying that five is where um, Mother Eve is creating a new thing and she is now ready to give us a new revelation. So I am expecting to really um, have something new or a new finding, a new um, revelation in throughout this presentation. So I am open and receptive to what's going to um, reflect or be revealed as in the word revelation, we have reveal, we have liver, we have um, revel, we have um, nation. You could say it's got uh, the letters that would, um, uh, we have um, later, L-A-T-E-R, or we have those words in there, meaning that revelation is um, going to be reveal itself now i really want to keep these um presentations um well not too long in the sense of because i feel maybe the subject matter really um is deep and perhaps that's why i do go on but let's um i may have to do um more on number three i feel i will have to or i will need to okay so there we have um strength now what i also um was uh picking up yes let's give you 11 so three gives us 11 um the word three of course two plus nine is 11. now of course there's two aspects so bear in mind that three has all already revealed itself as the God. And it's no wonder why in Christianity you hear about the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, or the three in one, the Trinity, our mind, body, and spirit, or however you relate to three. So this is here. Now, 11, of course, the first master number, we can see if we add this together, it gives us two. 1 plus 1 is 2. Also, if we did um, do 1 as in 1, having this separate, and 1 again, this would be 655. Five. Of course, 655. Five. Now, if we added this together, this would be 16. 1 plus 6 is 7. And of course, 1 plus 6 is 7. So we not only have this um, 14 gods as I've showed you in number in 29 as we have here but it also reflects in the word form of one and one here and giving us um, s um, 7 plus 7 which would be 14 and of course it's this uh, the 14 is the gods the 14 gods right here as well number five so the 14 gods every time i this is what i'm getting now every time we come to understand the 14 gods as number five we are giving ourselves an opportunity to um see something in a different way in a in a in a grander light or should i say in a in a different light in a different 
to have um, another way of seeing something, another perspective, because it, it, it represents mouth, for instance. It represents key, it's anchor, it's um, the moved God, it's of movement, number five moves, it's Christ, it's a Kundalini, it's um, it's um, ended, it's end. I'm looking um, where I've got um, all the words. It's made. Um, it's uh, quite a few other words that I came across. It's also lock, it's house, it's home. So basically, number three is, is giving us, it's like it's presenting us a key in itself. <coughs> Excuse me. So how now let's see what happens when we do two. Of course we know two two here is that number of harmony, um, fellowship, and um, partnership, marriage, and so on. So basically two is reflecting here to me that the gods, the two sets of seven gods are able to come together and work together in harmony that's within us this as i said in my other videos only happens when you have i was going to say when you have died in 13 when you have that, gone through that process of submission of self um submission self um repentance whatever you want to call it of um really um saying okay i'm ready to go through the tunnel because i know at the other end i may not have seen it but i believe at the other end it's it's going to be um that wholeness that harmony that um that newness that which um if the mind can conceive it it can perceive it can feel it so i'm ready to see to get that tangible um essence of whatever it is so basically um we you you are ready to explore the fullness of who you truly are you want to know who you truly are so it's like you put yourself through all this test if you like or um this motion now i will always say as also say that two reminds me about when christ used to recruit his disciples and oftentimes um they would be in twos well that's something that caught my attention because he saw simon peter and his brother and he called them i will make you fishers of men if you follow me and so on and then he would send his disciples out in twos as well it may not always have been the case but that was the uniform about the the um the the unity of the really or the characteristics of the relationship and the progress of growth so we see two hair is really um pinnacle now what amazes me with all of this let's bear in mind we have seen strength as free we have seen it as 12 because 12 is where mother eve in the um scriptures in genesis of chapter one where we have seen the eight lettings because this is where i really want to bring this um together to sh to really show this wholeness because it is really this but it's really where we have um, got this illusion because we are not sure exactly where we're at. We sort of maybe twist things in a way to give ourselves, make the story more interesting. <laughs> okay, all right. But it's really the um, symbol of infinity where we go round and round. Be because if you were to go into this circle or cycle, you don't necessarily have a point of reference because everywhere is a point of reference in a way so we have developed you could say this oh the universe of cre created this illusion if you like i'll say illusion so we can seem to get more of a point of reference when we are somewhere when we get stuck we can feel okay we know uh bottleneck 
or it may seem like that okay so let's go about let's follow two so we have seen how 11 has um, showed um, 29 has given us 14 let's just have 14 here and of course 1 1 also gives us 14 so we can when we are using words and numbers, we perhaps take it for granted that these things have been meticulously constructed, that we are sending out vibrations and frequencies when we use them. So if you were to ask me, well, how should I use these? These are things for you to really delve in to understand how you according to your purpose you are able to use this so my purpose here now is to really um show this and of course learn as much as we can together so i can't say to you for sure to well only use seven you or seven or whatever it is these are things that be right now we are meant to go within and learn get into mother eve and go into our memory because it's that remember 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 that's what we are meant to be doing okay so um two so let's do the word two which is t which is two five six and if we add this together it gives us 13. now Back to the original uh, constructs or um, scenarios that I have been given about number three as well and how it pertains to God. So we can see um, like two hair, for instance, or seven. Um, let's, I'll just backtrack because um, it's, I realize I'm giving two references right here. Let's go to 13. So 13, 1 plus 3 is 4. 4. Now, if we did the numerical value 4, the word 8, E-I-G-H-T, would be 5, 9, 7, 8, 2. And adding this together would be 10, 26. This would be 31. So basically... 31 is the is the mirror image or the reverse image to 13. So we can see that 2 is reflective of 31. Now, it also reminds me that um, 31, we have 31 days of the month. We have 12 months to the year, which is coinciding with Christ. So coinciding with Christ, the 12 disciples, and of course Christ became the 13th person here. So the 13th person, as I continue to say, was of course after the crucifixion that Christ um, was crucified and all, which I would love to do a lot of um, some videos on what the story or the drama that was given. It, we think it is just drama like, um, or this pat on him. But the, there was a, si a symbol or significance to the spit. In today, we know that how, how much information you gather from spit or um, they, they, the words or whatever it was that they projected on him. Of course, he took on all of this, and it's no wonder it is said that anything known to man, he was that. So all those things were projected on him, um, whether it was name calling, whether it was spit, whether it was um, love, whatever, Some because some felt sad and, and pitied him. All those things happened, but he died on got buried with those things and was risen up a new man a new a new being a new whatever it is that he is today is the 14th god so and is the embodiment of all so the 13th is the embodiment of the 12 and the four, the 13th meaning christ here before he died was the embodiment of the 12 
when he died it was of the embodiment of the 12 and then the 14th is the embodiment of the the dying the, the death the um crucifixion okay so we have eight so we see that eight here is basically um the reverse to 13 and this is telling us that no wonder when christ said where two or more are gathered <laughs> it's like i think i heard the bell <laughs> okay where two or more are gathered there i am in the midst of them i am the i am is five if we did the numerical value for i am actually i am i think it was the exact words i is nine and am is five so we are talking about i am which is nine plus five is fourteen and that is five so christ is saying wherever two or more so it'd be interesting to do more i think i have done that because the word let's just see Because the King James Version of the Bible is a numerical construct, and that's why I do this. So we have all in the middle, and we have me here, right here. So it's like saying me or. So nine, this would be nine, five plus four is nine, and all this is nine plus six is um, 14. So... 14 and that would be 5. So basically this is another this is just emphasis here again. So ME this is 4, this is 5, so this is 9. And O is 6. 6 plus 9 is 15. 6 plus 9 is 15. Okay. 15 is 6. Okay. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 9 is 15. So we have um, 15 and this is where we have 15 in the middle of the template. Just to show you. So 15 falls right here in the middle of the template. 5, 10, 15. This is the L. This is where we get elevated. So 5, 10, 15. If we add this together, 1 plus 5 would be 6 okay and of course i have gone into doing six numerical value and there's so much more we also had talking about six we also had um the numerical values here so these were numbers we had on the original template so i think that would help so we had one two three and we had six nine so we had three, six, nine, and three, six, nine. Basically, these numbers, so we can see where the six comes in, is reflected from the number 15, which I have just added. If we add this together, we have 15, so one plus five is six. And the same goes for every column. And you can see the um, uniformity of um, the multiple um, numbers or the um, number three here so we have three threes throughout and then we have of course three sixes and three nines and uh, all this would give us nine 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 or three nines twenty seven two plus seven would be nine i hope i'm checking this correct let's see um so this would be nine and nine eighteen so this would be nine so if we added all these three columns together, because we have been working like this, 9, 9, 9. So basically all these numbers give us 9. And there is also a, I think here we had 46, which would be 10. And I have done how this template works out on my um, introduction to numerology and anything on crime queen with the template would show you um, more of this but the introduction to crime queen um, on hair numerology you would understand how the how we derived with this template 
and um, how robust it is as well that it has showed us so much so I won't go into this right now but I want to um, just wrap up on um, number three which I'm feeling has we have so much I may have to do another or more videos on number three just to show the power and strength of three so because we had the word kiss for instance which again is very symbolic in the crucifixion so I would like to talk on that as well so number 13 so if we did um, uh, the numerical value for instance um, of 13 as a word I think I've, th I've done that before and let's um, I'm trying to ensure that I'm keeping to three and so we had two two gave us two let's just see so two has given us 14 this were two five six has given us 11 12 13 has given us four and of course if we did four now that's interesting to do as well because if we did four f o u r we would have this is six six three nine okay so here we have 18 19 24 which really coincides with the let there be light and there was light which is the first spell mother eve cast in genesis of chapter one everyone knows that text somehow let there be light and there was light and that was the 24 two plus four is six and six would be seven this is how we see uh, how the creation of course with seven has come about as well so the word six gives us seven and i'm trying not to do too much writing here because i've done this so much and if we did seven s-e-v-e-n of course we see that mother eve is in the middle i continue to say this and um one five because the s before eve is really saying there's the serpent there's the snake there's the there's where things are going like this okay and four five five so adding this together would be 20. so if you recall 20 um when we did the word 20 it became 26 the word 20 equals 26 and 2 plus 6 is 8. so this is the strength of number three and this is why number three has it's so dynamic it has so many features and aspects so it's really like the, there the serpent is um and this is how i read the the story as well it's like eve is the eve in the garden it's like the ser actually where the the serpent is biting its tail the story itself is related in that sort of way that it's it bites it's like eve the mother eve where we learn that adam was created um first and it was all this this story but we can see in this story itself eve is that which is the exists before any event takes place and then you have adam and then you have eve and then you have eve is like it's the mother playing or teaching her children how to play or there's the story that narrate the narration or narrator is just giving this um it's like you you are playing um pretend if you like so the, i have done a lot of um presentations on this i hope you will get the essence of this so basically we have gone back to um 20 which is two basically um, the word 20 as I say would be 8 and 8 of course is 4 or 31 um, 31 which is 4 so we can see how 3 really 
um, reflects itself very much so and in this 11 as 11 as well so if we did 11 which is what I haven't done and um, I'm hoping that I will do the other um, features to three very short so they can be bite size so if we did the word 11 L E V E N we would see this is 5 3 of course it has Eve in the middle and 5 4 5 5 so this is 10 this is um, 27 2 plus 7 is 9 9 if we did the numerical value for the word 9 would give us 6 where we were all created on the 6th day and of course 6 would also give us 7 7 is the serpent 7 is present and so this is where I mean uh, that we are it's like Mother Eve is playing her, her own role and we are of Mother Eve, but playing that same role. So it's been, um, so let, let's just stick with this seven, which we did was um, two, 20. But um, seven, I as I always say, is the present. Mother Eve was the serpent, S-E-R-P-E-N-T. We can't leave the serpent out because mother eve is the serpent so it's one five nine seven five five two ten twenty five thirty two thirty four three plus four is seven so we can see how the seven is again portrayed here as in the word two like really there's like an emphasis that tells us okay well there were two serpents which we see two serpents on on the tree so it's like an emphasis of saying there were two sevens two creations two sets of gods or the 14 gods there's that two that is being reflected and it's no wonder we see that reflected in the story of Christ as well. And that in itself tells us as well that the, surf, the serpent was, the, was present because the word serpent is the same word as present. P-R-E-S-E-N-T. Now, just in case you're new to this, but I have done... Um, presentations covering this as well it's the same words as serpent with present and this is what mother Eve is calling us to do right now to be present 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 and be in the now be in the present be in be conscious be just be be mindful be really mindful and that's the present because the serpent was the present in the garden the serpent was present in the garden is the serpent says you shall not surely die the serpent was really um, present observing being speaking <laughs> if you ever hear a serpent speak so basically we could see even through the word present which is serpent and it has the word sent because we hear about God sent them to the far east of the garden um, so there are other words in here because um, we have recent recent so we could see even the word recent um, I think recent is spelt with a C but even with with that in itself or resent um there would there is it's like a a role play it's like to have to resent something to resent it's like um of course that would be like they weren't supposed to eat of the apple for instance but being present in, in itself has contained the seed of resentment because when anytime you're being present there's an observer making an uh, an assumption 
or making an evaluation or something because that's the opposite of being present. So there are lots of things in here to learn and that's why Mother Eve has showed herself as with all her hair is really up and really wanting uh, being present be present as hair being hair h-e-r-e -E. and i would like to continue doing presentations on hair as well that we think that it's a different meaning or connotation it's the same thing to be hair is the hair all our dna everything is in our hair all the information is in our hair so mother eve was present hair and mother eve is present hair so i hope you get this thank you for joining us <laughs> the us sheep i hope you will embark or um yes embark on the us sheep with us on this journey this exciting journey of the um i now see a sheep um called the us sheep and is this a movie as well i think it's going it's called us or something i i heard someone saying i haven't done the research so i'm not going to say much about that but of course if you have followed my videos as well you will see i have done a lot on us when mother eve said let us make man in our image after our likeness and the word us is also 31 so thank you and of course let's keep being ignited and you know let's um really get on to our bridge the bridge is number five here i'm almost tempted to quote my bridge of actualizing self or love i think i'm going to implement that right now because um well it's just i'm turning to see which of my yes so it's really the crimson light so i think uh, getting onto the bridge of actualizing self or love that's what we are going 